Welcome back, everybody. With me now is Dr. John McClendon. He's a local veterinarian here, and it's Medical Monday. We want to change things. We want to focus on your pets because for us, that's pretty much the kid in the family. And uh, with summer here, there are a lot of things you need to keep in mind. And first, I want to talk to you about flea and tick prevention. We hear about it all the time, but I don't think we really understand how bad those little parasites can be on the animal until we take it to the vet and you tell us that they're full of worms or they're having low blood problems. Um, let's talk about some preventative measures. Okay. What do you suggest? Um, Advantage Multi is a, is a really good product that covers for heartworms and fleas. Mm -hmm. um, it's a topical product um, and kind of just depends on your particular situation. Um, whether you have fleas and ticks, there's uh, the Vectra 3D product mm -hmm. uh, that does fleas and ticks. It's a topical product as well. Um, and then we have Comfortis, which is an oral product that just takes care of fleas right. um, that, that is very good. So um, just a combination of, of products. There's also that we started carrying recently a uh, ProHeart 6. It's an injection uh, that covers for heartworms for six months. For really? those of us that have difficulty remembering the once a month thing, which I am guilty of as well. Mm -hmm. um, it, it, it seems we've just started carrying it again and, and started uh, using that product. So, but again, that just does heartworms. And let's talk about the heartworm a second. Uh, a dog is bitten by a mosquito, and mm -hmm. of course, if they don't have, if they've not been on prevention, mm -hmm. then the worms develop in the heart, correct? Mm -hmm. Okay, for folks at home who don't really understand, what happens to the pet, the cat and the dog, if that's not treated when those mm -hmm. worms start to grow? Um, they usually, if they are not being treated um, or given preventative, uh, they will present to us with coughing and hacking, um, and they can do a lot of damage um, in the lungs as well. Um, but and so, I mean, that's that's kind of why we go into the treatment and recommend the the treatment. Um, but prevention is the is the key, so it doesn't get to that point and do do the damage. It definitely is and, and some of the damage um, whenever a dog has heartworms because sometimes we get shelter dogs or stray dogs and they've never been treated mm -hmm. when the treatment is complete and they're heartworm free does scar tissue build up in their lungs and heart or how does all of that work out? Uh, absolutely they, they can have even though we've gone in and, and given the treatment there is you know uh, damage that has already been done oh, we just okay. don't want to continue that damage. So there mm -hmm. are some long-term effects by mm -hmm. not having prevention of course. Absolutely. Um, as far as the spray, this is a spray here that you brought, which um, mm -hmm. tell me a little bit about this. Um, uh, Cyphotrol, it's, it's good to treat the environment. When you go in and, and you want to kill the fleas and get, get rid of them, we need to treat, treat the patient. Usually we'll have the patient come into the clinic, we'll treat, and you need to treat your environment as well. Right. And that's, that's what this is good for. Um, and that's and, inside the house and mm -hmm. the pet's bed and right. your and, bed. And, yeah, and, absolutely, because they can, they can get everywhere on us and become very aggravating. So, um, but you have to treat both. If you just treat one, all the fleas will jump on the pet. If you just treat the pet, all of them will jump in the environment. You will not not get rid of them. Interesting. And um, before we wrap, um, the flea medicine, they have sort of, uh, it's a tube where you can squeeze it on the back of the dog. Mm -hmm. um, and then um, there's the peel. H how do we know which would be best? Is it really what the dog's temperament is as you're trying to administer it? Or mm -hmm. what a, do you a lot of them, it, it is the temperament of the dog. Some people just cannot put on that topical product. That would be me. So, <laughs> um, <laughs> so but you know, that it just depends on the individual and the individual patient. And we kind of work and talk with them and decide what's best for. All right. Yeah. Well, thanks for the update, and uh, we'll be right back.